So um, I am here with Shraddha, um, who you're, you're taking your grade eight Trinity um, uh, guitar grade very soon. Um, I've I've heard some videos of you, you performing, and, and it's fantastic, really, really amazing playing. So I'm excited um, for this lesson. Me too. Um, ah, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we just had a, a, a quick tune up. So let's let's start. We, we're going to play, I think, two pieces a day: the Earl of Essex, um, the, the Galliard. Yeah, and then the Bucks of Armour. Yeah. So first of all, the the the, the John Dowland. Um, yeah, you can see. Yeah, so you've chosen to have the capo on second fret. Great. Um, it does. It emulates the sound of like you know lute. Um, I, I really I, I I love having capo for these for this sort of style of music. It works really well. Sounds sweeter. Yeah, yeah. So so the first thing I want to do, even before you start, I'd like I always think this is a really good practice tool. I would like you to take a, 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 a long slow breath in through the nose if that's okay and then back out through the nose but try and keep it slow and really long and then try another couple of those often I like to kind of try and close the throat off so I get the sound of my breathing coming through. And um, have you ever looked at, at breathing when you're playing or breathing in general? Have you ever kind of done any um, practice of breathing slowly or breathing deep or that kind of thing? Um, no, but I would like not to think about the piece right before I started so that yeah. I'm all calm like when I'm actually doing yeah. it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really into um, how the breath affects everything we do. It's incredible. And we can control our breathing. And I, don't, I think we're one of the few animals on the planet that can. I, it, we, it's, it's really fascinating. And it's, it's a way to tap right into uh, the deepest part of ourselves to make sure we're calm when we want to be or really, really stressed when we want to be. So if you're breathing like that, I mean, hands shake, everything is ready to go. And that might be exciting, but I think it's dangerous. And so before we start playing, it really, really helps, I find, to do the complete opposite. Only breathing through the nose if you can and slow, not deep. Don't go. People think you need to do that and that is not good. You want to breathe slowly and controlled. And, and in doing that breath, we just center ourselves um, and hopefully calm ourselves down and then play better. So that's yeah, that's one thing I would say, I would, I would advise that. So let's try that. I want, I want, want you to do two breaths. You can do it with me, you can do it on your own. Two nice slow breaths in through the nose and, and then out slowly. Um, don't don't feel like you're you need to breathe more you know, if, if you need to breathe more or quicker, please do. But but let's try that now. So, uh, one breath, here we go. And out. And then in. And out. <laughs> and there we go. Now you can start. Carry on, please. Go for okay. it.
Wonderful, very good. Before you end, hold that chord, hold that chord, hold that chord. That last one. First things first, uh, um, one little thing. We, we can't have the piece end on uh, an A minor chord, or it would be a B minor with a cap on. So, that chord, and the C sharp, there's a C sharp at the beginning of that bar. Can you see? Um, so that C sharp will last for that last chord. So we can't have John Derman ending sad <laughs> like that on a piece that is triumphant. So, so, so you, do you see? So where where is there a C sharp? Yes, exactly. So so yeah. play the chord again. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> there we go. Yes. So that's the first thing. Now. Um, I will, I'll send you annotations to write in. You don't have to do that yourself right now because I don't want you to stress over writing things in. But so, so don't worry about that. I'll, I'll put this all in there. Uh, but just, yeah, that's one thing. Uh, really, really lovely playing. Really, really nice. Um, the, the, I, I, what I particularly loved, uh, bar 35 had, a, had a, um, a really nice solid change of mood. Really nice. Um, and that, that is needed in this piece, I think. Your, your left hand, fantastic. Your posture, fantastic. You seem calm and you seem controlled, and I like that too. Um, even bits that are tricky and we need to work on, I'm not feeling this like, <laughs> the kind of thing, which is, which is really important. As an audience member, we, we, we need to feel relaxed when someone plays, I think. Unless, unless it's purposeful that they want to make us feel not relaxed. But for most of the time, we need to feel relaxed. Um, good. So there's, there's, there's kind of three things, I think, I, I'd like to look at in this piece, aside from little fingerings and all that. And one is rhythm and not just playing, playing the correct rhythms and feeling the pulse better, but also... Um, Allowing yourself to breathe and, and, and take pauses between sections. It's such a fast piece and there are so many runs that just leave us on the floor like this after we do them that, that, that the temptation is to just power through notes, 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 go, go, go and get to the end. And it, that always works negatively. It, it always has a bad effect on the music. Um, we have to do the opposite. We have to slow down. We have to take our breaks when 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 we can, um, and let the music breathe. I think I, I'll definitely set some listening hope for you and everyone watching on YouTube. Um, I there's there's a loop player called Nigel North um, who I I really love. Um, he he's a fantastic uh, loop player and he plays this and the feeling of breath and age is beautiful and and of um, how free the music is and he plays fast but it does not feel uh, it feels really really lovely and smooth um, and free uh, so that's the first thing and then the second thing is your right hand because okay. I think a lot of these runs I just saw you might be playing stuff like uh, let me just put the uh, put my other camera on so you can see my right hand. I'm seeing a lot of this. <laughs> Poor middle finger is just going. Ah. Uh, and the other thing is I sat there, kind of relaxing, chilling out, not doing too much. Um, so, so what I, what I imagine you have in this piece is that your left hand is the same each time and is very well thought out and is, and is fantastic. And it looks it. And then your right hand is there going. Ah. Um, and and it isn't sure of of, of itself and what it's doing. Um, so we'll look at the right hand too. So where is it that you spot that? I mean, is it in the ninth bar where I it's, see it, a run? I, I, it's all these semi-quaver runs um, okay. I, I saw that, especially on the second page. I was looking at the music for the first page, so I couldn't, I didn't see the right hand too much. But on the second page, yeah, I definitely saw a few runs that I, at that speed, I would probably find impossible to do the way you did them, or very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so we, we're going to look a bit at a few of those runs and put in some right hand fingerings that you'll have to really try and, uh, and, and drill. So the, fir the, the first time I think you can use 
a pause is at the end of bar eight when we have this crotchet and we, and we end a whole section. Um, we've got an eight bar section there. <laughs> To the new bit you know we need we need kind of actually I should have played okay so so we need that chance to to, to breathe in the music but also ourselves okay so yeah. let's practice that let's but play play the whole of the first eight bars and and go into the ninth bar but try and have a bit of a kind of slow down and pause at the end of bar eight, yeah? Thanks. Very good, very good, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actually, just before we tackle that pause more, that was nice. Um, bar seven. Okay. This is really tricky, this, and I wish I could share the score. I can't because of copyright. But um, look at the, the timing of this piece, of this bar. One and two and three and. Now, the, the, the E and the B. Do you see we have the E and the B? Uh, that's the kind of the the so uh, uh, play me play me to there. Good. Now it looks like the A is after the E and the B. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So um, yeah. The, all of them together? I yes, mean, yeah, yeah. And, and the reason... Exactly. And, and the reason why, why that's happened, um, they haven't... They've chosen not to fit the A and the B together. Yeah. Because yeah. it would clash. There'd be a blob, you know, the A and then the B um, there. So they push the A to the side, but there's nothing indicating in the music that that A comes later. It doesn't. It, it comes on on that... Um, on that... Chord. Okay. So, so the the rhythm is one and two and, uh, and three and. Um. Yeah, it's it, it's really worth circling that, and I'll get you to do that um, later. Play, play that bar again. Good. And 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 one other thing, the first look at the first chord of that bar. And tell me each. Tell me the three notes. Name the three notes that we have in the um, music. D, B, and D. Yes, D, B, and D. Good, good. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. That's the chord. Yeah. Now okay. it's funny, isn't it, that we get it. it I mean, you've learned uh, so many hundreds of notes in this piece, and it, and yet that that pair there, we just got used to playing it. What was it? it was that because it's, it's played like that before? Yeah. Okay. So watch out for that as well. Um, good. Good, good. There's the rhythm there. Try that again. Good. Very good, very good. Now, with a change like that, you, you'll have to, I would say, circle it, put the fingering in. Um, uh, you know, it, it, lot, lots of stuff needs to be there so that we remember this. And it, playing it through twice a day won't, won't be good enough. I think you'd have to really make a lot of effort on those two bars to get to override what, you've, what your memory has. 
you know, we need, we need to push that, what, what you've memorised out and put this new bit in. So a, a fair bit of practice on that to get that to, to, to sit comfortably. Good. Good. And, then, and, and there's a bit, there's a bit of a, 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 a too long a pause here. It's, it's one and two E and a three. One and two E and a three. Okay. Good. And really it's one and two E and a three. With a bit of a oh, breath there, okay? Bit of a pause. Try that again. Mm, bit, bit slower. So try and slow down. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's like just imagine that last note is is ah like that, not but yeah, it's it's an ending point. It's where we're landing. Imagine if you're in a plane and there's there's your there's your landing that last note or ah well done <laughs> yeah. Try, try it again. Lovely, yeah, and, and, and still, still, you know, it's the, it is that bit like about to land. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We, you know, put it, put us down gently. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Very nice. And and there are sections, so it's basically a, a similar, there are, there's kind of four places where this happens, where we need to pause like this, or maybe even more. Um, where Where is the next, where's the next point where we have a crotchet, and, uh, inst instead of just semiquavers? Because from bar nine onwards, it's just relentless, isn't it? Um, I can see one in the 16th bar. Yeah, great. There's one in the 12th bar on this bit. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, but, but that's kind of mid phrase. You're, you're right, bar 16. Ah, same thing there. And then, and then into the next section. Yes. Very good. Very good, very good. Now, before you play classical guitar, did you play uh, electric or acoustic guitar? Both. Or blues guitar, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing that now. John, D just think, John D so John Dowland, 1563 he was born. Um, I mean, if he was doing that, he would be 500 years ahead of his time. This this vibrato is. Um, I mean, it, it's a, it's a funny thing. I, I it, sometimes it can work, but we got to be so careful. And on this piece, it doesn't work. And and it's. Uh, I think it's a habit for you, or it's a nervous tick. We don't we don't have to do that to end a to end a section and, and relax. Just. Uh, A bit of vibrato side to side. Some people might hate that in this music, but ah, but not the wiggle vibrato. It's a bit too intense. Um, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Very good. Lovely. So there's a pause there. Um, Good, and, and these pauses really help us fight fight the the kind of terror of of this piece, which is just getting that thing happening. Yeah, where we just we, it all becomes too fast and too much. Um, also, um, I'm not sure if bar seventeen, um, how I mm -hmm. play it is correct. Bar seventeen, I'm okay. not sure of the rhythm. Bar play, seventeen play and eighteen because it's quite joint. I can say. 
Yeah, I think it, I think it was all right. But play, play it again. Ah. Yeah, good. Yeah, there's there's, there's that one thing there. It's, it's the same thing. Have a look at that first chord. So we've got an E, a G sharp, a B, and an E. It, it is. It's quite funny. It's it, it's a rhythmic reason. Uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing why they've done that. But there there is there's nothing before the G sharp and the B. There's nothing saying this should be later, other than that it's spaced okay. like that. So okay. that that is all together. No, no problem. It's it's confusing that. Play me that bar. So you play the last four strings, and you play, then you, you play start the with A. Yeah, um, the first four. Yes. So yeah, P I M A. Good. The last chord in that bar. Yeah. Again, again here. Just uh, you're playing it all great except the last two notes. Again, name name me them before you play them. Last two notes of bar seventeen. Yes, please. Um, it's B and G. Good. And is the G a G or a G sharp? Okay, it's G sharp. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good. Um, again, to to get out of these um, mistakes, the best thing to do is occasionally to just look through a bar. And kind of name every note or name name the notes in the chords, because then it's something like, oh, that's a B and a G sharp. Um, I think you're playing a B and an A. Yes, lovely. So how do you, you how do you finger them? Um, what what would you choose? Um. Yeah, Good. because now, I was using, yeah, instead of three and four, I was using three, four and two and four. Y yeah. Now try using four and three, as it's written in the book, and then see how that might affect it. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Now with a with a change like this, again, Shraddha, it's, it's it's so important that we we deal with it very slowly. It's 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 a dangerous bit, you know, uh, tiny tiny little mistake you've made, but it's dangerous because it'll keep coming back unless we 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 have to we have to kill it. We have to kill it dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, whew. Yeah, we have to really go slow, and I'm, I'm playing that bar wrong. We we can't approach it without extreme respect. Okay, so play it super slow, get it completely right, five times in a row. Good. And pause when you need to, slow down. Um, also, I have a habit of um, doing a tremolo like with your fingers, like on each chord, even though it may not on each chord, but there are certain chords which I just naturally just. You mean running yeah. the chord? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's not really mentioned, so I'm not sure if you just need to do that. And... You, you'll have a lot of different opinions on this. Um... The, the the only danger is that it, it becomes a habit that we do every all the time without thinking. Every time you do it, it should be a thought of thing. We should we should, we should have thought. Should I do that or not? I prefer it rolled over straight. If you're doing it without thinking about it, without saying, "Oh, maybe it is better that way," then that's not that's not good. Um, we have to think about it. Yeah, I mean, there's so much. Obviously, there's so much to cover. Um, with a piece like this, um, don't worry so much about that for now. There, there are there are bigger things to worry about in this piece um, than rolling chords. Or not. Good. Now look at your left hand and play it. Just looking at your left hand and go even slower.
Good, and now even, go, go half that speed. I know it sounds weird, but just go super slow. And look at your left hand the whole time. Good. 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 It, very nice. It's it, it's feeling solid now. It's feeling like it's it's set in your mind, yeah? yeah. And we need that slow we, we need slowness. Slow. We need to be slow. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen um a Doctor Who? The 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 British T V show? Um no. I've heard okay. of it, but no. So that, so it's been going for 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 so many years, um, and it's uh, you know it's about this 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 being this alien creature called a time lord. He can control time. We have that power too with a piece and with practice. We can control time. We 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 have absolute mastery over time. We can wave a wand and we can play half speed, half time, as if we're going like this. We can play it super fast, and we we need to exercise that control all the time. Play things super slow. The, the super slow so that we there's not a chance we could ever possibly make a mistake. It, if you go slow enough, you can play anything. Anything. Um, so use that. Mm. And one more time. Wonderful, yeah, good. Slow, slow playing sets itself in our minds so much more. And, and again, it's this calm, this state of mind where we're calm and we're completely in control and we, we're the boss of this piece. The, the, the piece is not owning us, but we're the boss. We, we, can, we can learn it, we can make it perfect. Um, lovely, right. Go back to the start again, um, and then I, I'd like you to try and get to the end of bar 16, if that's okay with you. Um, all right. Take your time. Yeah, good. And then, and then remember that pause is yeah. so important. Uh, yeah, so all of these little things, as you said, as, as you've seen, you, you're playing through and you're remembering them, but then yeah, but as I'm they go past, it's like, them. ah, oh no, I did it again. Yeah, so we have to we have to slow down and, and internalize that. And you will, I know you will, you'll, you'll, you'll do that really well. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I love your projection of the melody, it's beautiful. You, you, and you've got a, a very nice legato on the melody. Uh, I can tell that you, you're you're listening really well to that melody and how it sounds and how it must sound to be nice. It's always really clear, uh, really lovely, good work. Um, okay, a couple of, couple of small things again. These are things that you can write in, and then you have to apply this process to this slow process to to change. Bar five. Second chord, can you play it for me? Or can you can you say the names of the notes before you play it? Um the second second chord of the bar. A, C and E. Good. Now you said them, you can play play them. Okay, I must be playing. Good. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. But but again, it, it's it's funny. Like you're 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 obviously a very good sight reader. To to have got to grade eight in this in this short time, what is it? Two two years you've been playing classical guitar. I'm one and a half. <sighs> wow. 
Whew, amazing. Yeah, see, uh, that's that's fantastic. You're a good sight reader. Um, you need a process where, uh, when you've learnt a piece, or, or as, as you're learning the piece, every chord you say the names of the notes and then play them. And that's that will that will stop this from happening. Okay? Let's just play... Good. Why why don't you change the fingering from from being one and four, where the where the first finger is being very busy? If that's the case, it's moving a lot. Uh, change it to two and four. I'm like uh, on, on the on the first chord. So 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 the first chord should be two and four. Okay, it went four. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, and then that's, that's the it. second finger down. Yeah. E exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yeah, and, and again there, uh, uh, use use the fourth finger and the first finger on the third chord, the F and the D. Like it's got that, hasn't it? It's got four written down on the D. Complete, complete that bar in the next bar as well. Lovely, well played. Good. Okay, very nice. Uh, bar six. Again, this will. I'll, I'll write this in for you so you can see this. You don't have to remember all this right now, because that would be impossible. <laughs> um, uh, bar six, this rhythm, one and uh, one and two and three, one and two and three, and two, one, two and three. Let's do that. Mm. Good. Have, have this pulse in your head, in your body somewhere. Tap, tap your foot. Do something that, 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 that gives it life. Okay. Yes. Good. It, it's, a, it's a far shift there, isn't it? doing it well well done just feel this kind of like it's one one movement one thing yeah 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 that's why i think i made the mistake of putting the third fingers because right. when i'm shifting it just like carries over yeah sure yeah 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 yeah, yes, yeah. okay Good. One, one more time. One more time. Good. Two two things. So so uh, uh, start of bar seven. That D. Just make it even harder. We got the, the fourth string D. Good. And then again, remember the A and the B and the E. Yeah, lots, 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 lots to think about. Um, and pause. Good. Yeah, very nice. And breathe. The music breathes. We have to breathe, um, especially when we're stressed in a grade. If we're performing on a video for a grade or whatever, we'll we'll play faster than we think. And we'll we'll always cut notes a bit short just to kind of make us more stressed. So breathe. Let me even practice it breathing, you know. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, the, the, that breath, when, when you breathe at the end of the breath, it, re it rests, it has that same feeling of, of stopping and then back in again. Yeah, you need that. Very good, okay. Good, uh, and we, very, very nice, and we need this, um, okay, so this dotted crotch here, uh, uh, you know, I'll write in one and two. In, in between the C chord and the, and the next note, the D, this is bar six, and two. We need to, we need to either vocalise that or have that somewhere in our mind ticking away, the, these two beats, these two quavers, one and two. Feel, feel two things passing and then you play the D, yeah? Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, good, and, and remember the D, the, uh, the, <laughs> the open D. Oh, it's so much to remember. Learning a piece of music is an insane feat of memorizing the, the amount of stuff you have to memorize it's extreme and it's unbearable sometimes that's why again we go slow um control time bar nine this uh, bar nine right through to bar 12 there's not a single pause is there um, It's it's it doesn't let up and it's it's fast. Obviously at full speed, ninety BPM. What it says we should play at. It's this is hard. Um, I, bar ten. Okay. I don't like I don't like the fingering that that they put in the book. I don't think there's. I don't. It. Look at the first note. G. Yeah. So 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 the the piece says we should hold this on for two beats. One E under two E under three. Now with the fingering they give, it's it's not impossible, but it's it's kind of impossible. Um so the fingering there isn't fit for purposes for what, what the notation is. Now maybe maybe the arranger wants you to, th to 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 come off that G early. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Which you don't need to do. It's nice having th this sound. Have you heard of camp campanella before? This sound, like where we where you get this. Or this sound of like cross strings. It sounds like lovely little bells. It's nice, but it doesn't work here. Um, so again, I'll give you this fingering. We don't. We won't spend much time on it. Um, I go. Just, I'll just highlight me so you can see. Oops. So I do a hammer on there as well, actually. And there. So I, at the end, I I use four, one, four slide and then that's self-explanatory so uh, I, I would probably if you have time to put that fingering in that would be good i think an examiner wouldn't know absolutely wouldn't know that that is impossible to hold that g on with that fingering with with, with the one written in the book they wouldn't know that it's kind of impossible um, and so they might mark, they might, that might reflect negatively, even though we're following the fingering there, the examiner might be like, oh, I didn't hold on the G, hmm, that's, uh, that's not good, mark them down a bit. Um, 
But is it evident that there's a G when you can slightly make the volume higher when you play the... Good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. But should we do that? I don't, I don't think we should. I, I, I think... Um, you know, the, the only thing we got to go on is with this piece is for this bit is that it's two beats long and it's a melody. It, it's the end of a melody as as the, as this next melody comes in. So it needs to ring on. Um, now it, it might it might it might not last that whole time. It does a bit, but that's very different from going uh, like this. cut off very quickly yeah yeah okay that that, that that's what I would do there um, just to hold that G on and I, it means you're playing it safe with the examiner if they go oh that G wasn't held on and they're not they're not going to be a guitarist or they might not be a guitarist they, they, they might well be a grade 8 but there's no guarantee so they and even if they were would they take the time out of their busy day of examining to be like, oh yeah, that isn't possible, that fingering? Probably not. Um, okay. And in, in, in bar nine to 10, this, this is a concept that flows throughout, even though it's all semi-quavers the whole way through. No, 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 no. It can breathe and, and we, can, we can slightly pull it and, and pause. So I'd like you to try that now without me playing. Play those two bars, but give it, give it a, a feeling of uh, not just no, 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 no. Give it some some sort of pull and some pause. Yeah, that's it. It's that. It's that. <laughs> You've got it. Your head's got it. It's this. This this movement. It's like elasticity. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Try. <laughs> It's nice, and it and it makes it it makes it possible. It makes this uh, and easy, and it and it, uh, we we have to feel, or at least give across the feeling that we think this is easy, because that sets the audience at, at ease. liberty take that time off some some players don't like it like they would like to keep it faster and, and, and more mm, but we don't need to and, and it helps us and, and the biggest that so the biggest my biggest criticism of this piece for you is that when the when the semi quavers start it just it kind of tumbles down the hill it's like we're running down the hill and then suddenly we trip and then woof, we're, we're, we've, we've become this rolling ball of, of notes that, that we have to we have to find our footing again and slow down. Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really really important. Thirty seven. Mm -hmm. There's a hinge bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this is, yeah, this is nasty. Uh, how am I doing this? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm doing a, th a three note barre there with the first finger. Um, but you have to prolong the F sharp, right? Yeah, so. can, but can you can you see that, Shredder? That's that, I've, I've got that. Look. Okay. So, this is this is the weird thing. 
about this pivot bar. Normally it's the other way around, but here you can take it off the G. We can take it off the third string, but the first string is still ringing. <laughs> it's just hard. <laughs> It's slow, that's it. Okay. Good. Now, so so if you can play it slow like that a lot and and shape it slow. So think about how you might phrase it. So, so that's 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 important. We can start to think about how we might phrase it because we can't if we're playing it full speed. We just you know do that. Good. Very good. Pause there. There's a couple of notes there that you're, that, that uh, I've put in that, that you're playing as. Uh, there's a G sharp in part twenty nine that you're playing as G natural, the second. So that's G sharp. Yeah. Good. Again, don't don't worry about writing it down. It's all there in the notes. Uh, previous bar, the same thing on the F natural. I think you were playing that differently. I think you, yeah, I th I've got a feeling you were playing that differently. Good. Good, very nice. Now this this bar here, bar 30, very hard rhythm to play. It's all semiquavers. It's yeah. all, oh no, that's not true, that's not true. It's not, um, one E and a, one a, one E and a, two, and a, three, and a, and I'd say it without, I'd play it without saying it. That's a, a funky rhythm that. It's really cool. It's like, yeah. Good, good. So the rhythm on 46, that bit, you've got that right. That's lovely. It's the same rhythm. Uh, no, 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 not not kind of funky start. Not that. It's one and two. Okay. Yeah. But can we just far, uh, uh, rewind to to bar forty four? Uh, So just be careful that start. Um, you, know, you know, think one and two and three. One, one and E and. And two E and. Um, good. Okay. Right. I, I, I'd love. I'd love to look at Bucks of Aura more um, yeah. a little bit. So, really, the the kind of key takeaways bits to take away from this. Um, feel like slow slow down the fast section so you can really feel the rhythm and correct the rhythm when it's when it's going wrong there are a couple more parts in the piece where the rhythm is 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 isn't right and uh, if you slow down um, and look at the sections that I'll give you I'll show you on the page then you'll you'll fix those um, but but it's very important to pause on those crotchets when they come at the end of sections. So important so that we breathe. We haven't had time to look at right hand fingerings. I don't think it would be beneficial at this point. 
in, in the grade cycle to look at right hand fingerings. But what I can tell you that from th th at this point uh, and, and from here onwards, you have to program in a right hand fingering that is the same every time. And, and the, it looks like your right hand is just, is just doing what it wants and maybe doing something quite different each time. And that will always, always fail. Um, you know, that it will never be the best thing you can do. And that'll be an area where you, where you might make the odd mistake because the right hand just gets in a muddle. Um, and not repeat the middle finger? Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the, the basic rule is that every, where possible, every, every semiquaver should have a different finger on it. It doesn't just mean doing IM. It, we can use the A finger and the thumb, but that, that's, that's like a rule that I try and stick to. Um, but it, 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 especially with a piece like this where we're playing two note chords, you know, double stops and bass notes, blah, blah, blah. We we have to think a lot about the fingering that's going to work, and and that the first thing you do on on your next piece is after this, if it's a fast piece, semi quaver sections, write in the right hand fingering, bef and and think about it. Think about what you what would be best in terms of, of crossing strings, in terms of not repeating the same finger again and again and again, and from the very first play, you treat the right hand like you do the left hand because your left hand doesn't. Do different fingers. Your left hand does the same fingering each time, and it's great. Your left hand is wonderful. Your right hand needs to learn from your left hand in that respect. Yeah, and it's it's always like countless guitarists. Every, like I think it's the biggest thing I see is that the left hand is wonderful, the fretting hand, and then this this hand's just like this kind of wild west cowboy doing what it wants, <laughs> playing playing kind of crazy stuff. Um, and and we're, we're there going, why am I playing this wrong? Why am I doing this wrong, left hand? And the right hand's there going, <laughs> that's me. Yeah, so watch out. Um, and yeah, that, that's, a, that's the main thing there. Loads of notes, but, but, but you know, fix what you can. Um, and, and I'll put in a, a, a few places where I think you can add hammer-ons and slurs to make the right hand easier. There's a lot in that, in that second page. I think you're doing it quite often, which is lovely. Um, I, I, I love doing it because it just makes the right hand a lot easier, and that's what you need. So, well done with that piece, fantastic. Um, yeah, let's let's play a bit of, of Buxer or More. Uh, okay, I mean, with the, with the Buxer or More, the thing I'd say is, um, the, watch two YouTube videos, I'll put them in the description in YouTube. Um, there's one of David Russell playing this piece. Okay. There's kind of almost no better person to look at for this piece than the person who arranged it playing it. So, and he's a, he's a phenomenal guitarist, David Russell, just just wonderful. So have a listen to him. There's also a masterclass of him teaching it to his students. So that's worth looking out for as well. He'll he'll tell you like loads of really lovely things about this piece. Um, have a play. Okay. here breathe slow you know just slow down take take a take a minute to relax as you're playing Thank you. 
Yeah, very good. Lovely. Well done. Good work. I, I Again, this is ticking ticking kind of um, one of David Russell's tick boxes, which was that the he says in this masterclass that it's, it's this is like this 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 kind of is it a fiddle tune or it's, a, you know, it's this old folk song that that needs this dry rhythm. Real sense of pulse, and you're and you're doing that lovely. It's really good, um, very nice. Um, uh, okay, are there any any things you struggle with in this piece, or any things you want to talk about? Um, the forty second bar, and yeah, the first lines of the top page. Okay. Cool. Let's do that then, because uh, yeah, I I've can, got. Uh, yeah, I tried to you know slow down, and I'm not sure if uh, was it correct when I you know played it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, play. Play it one more time. I just want to check your right hand fingering out. It's very, it's really, really good, really well played. Uh, and obviously this, I think at full speed, this is so fast, this bit. You know, don't, and, and don't worry if it's slightly under tempo, this whole piece, because it's, it's incredibly difficult at full speed. Um, I've never played this bit, so I'll be busking it, apologies. Let's just switch over to my right hand here so you can see my right phone. Right hand, the phone to my right hand. So uh, again, there'll be a fingering that I'll, I'll, I'll share with you. It, it kind of only works with one or two fingerings, this bit. Uh, and it's the same idea that you can't repeat a finger at this speed. It's too fast. And I see you occasionally going A, M, I, I. I, I, do, I, I think I would find that impossible at this speed to do that. I would find that even with weeks of practice, I can't. I don't, some people can do it, I can't. Um, I'm, I'm able to repeat the finger, the index finger. Yeah, should it, play, play it like that. Yeah. But is that full tempo? I don't think it is, is it? The, th the thumb, the thumb can can do it a bit easier than the fingers, I I find. Um, but uh, anyway, so 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 the, the the fingering that I've got here. Let's try this. Um, just the first two bars. In fact, the, first, the just just play play after me. So we got A M I P I M A I A I. -M. Good, and then I, yeah. Uh, um, I, I, and it's, it's a hammer on pull off there. Yeah, so A, I, A, M, I, P, I, M, I, hammer on, pull off. Try that. Yeah, don't repeat the M finger, yeah. No pause there. So, so this this will have to be again very slow practice. That uh, that uh, and and do follow this fingering because I I do think you'll easily hit full speed with this fingering, uh, and I don't think you will without. Um, so A, play with me. A, M, I. Then, then the hammer on pull off. <laughs> Good, and then AMI. Good. So that is AMI, and and, and that means that the, the right hand has moved up a set of strings, and we need to be conscious of that happening. Yeah. So here, in fact, it, it's already done it before. AMI. Then it moves.
Good, good. Yeah. That's it, that, that's it, that's it. And then A, M, I. Mm, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite see if that was right, but I, I, I'll, take, I'll take it in good faith that it was. And, 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 then, and then going into the next bar, we've got A, M, I again. So A. Yeah, and that's A M I P I M again. Yeah. Yeah, well done, well done. Yeah, and that very good. That's it. Uh the last bar. This is all written out for you. A M I P I M I hammer on M I hammer on. Yeah, so we switched to IM kind of alternating there. Lovely. Again, great. it's great writing this. It's so good because it is possible. It's possible to play this with practice at in insane speeds because David Russell has chosen a figure that works really well for the right hand. Uh, yeah, okay, I haven't, I haven't learnt it so I can't play it. Um, but that, that, that fingering will, will be one that you can drill in and play faster and faster and faster. Uh, that's, it's very hard. So, so looking at bar 43 into 44, we're, we're ending the last three notes of PIM in bar 43, yeah? And then it's AMI but down on, on those strings, and that's hard. Me, I think we have to register that it's a big jump for the right hand. It's like a position shift in the left hand. Um, so P, I, M, A, M, I. Yeah. Good. But, but you, so, yeah, we will, we will unfortunately have to leave it there. Um, there's, there are a couple of other things in the in the previous couple of pages that I, I'll just I'll, I'll just put a circle around the odd wrong note that you can fix okay, with with time and slow practice. Um, but but here is an example of where the right hand it it I really believe it has to be completely programmed in. You have to ha uh, uh, write write the right hand fingering and learn it from day one like you would the left hand fingering. And we can't repeat fingers. You're, you're doing an incredible job of doing that, but it's it's not secure, and and that's why you're playing that section with kind of like uh, not crystal clear. You know, to get that really crisp. There's no way I could do that full speed with repeating a finger. I, I wouldn't be able to make it clear. It, it would sound muddy, and, it, and I think it does for you a bit. Okay. Yes. Look at that. See? Easy. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Wonderful. So ultimately, I think what I can well, there are three things that I think you can focus on in your playing in the future. Um, one is the right hand, and we didn't do enough on that, but 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 you know maybe we'll have another another lesson in the future and we can look at that more. Programming in the right hand fingering, thinking about it, being very clever with the right hand and following it. Two, uh, in fast sections, we have to find a way to let things breathe. And um, you you can you can breathe to help that you know when you're playing a, a really fast section like that, don't go. And not breathe. Yeah, we have to breathe, uh, and I, I, I get the feeling that it's a bit tense, rather than what it could be where we're we're breathing with it. It's funny, I you know I I played that better than I did, just 
pre- previously just because I'm breathing and I know you can too so think about that um, and and slow playing once you get to a point with a fast piece you've got to play it slow again to pick up any errors in how you've read it and also rhythm because there, there are a lot of rhythmical errors in, in the, jo- the John Dowland piece that I know you would you'd pick up on if you played it slower and then you can put it back in so we have to when we've got a piece at performance level we should play it at quarter speed or half speed and go through meticulously and 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 at that speed we're able to to control exactly how you want it to sound and make it sound great um cool are there any other questions uh, about this piece or the other piece or anything at all in general um i would like to thank you i mean for grade six i took a lot of help from your videos and uh, how you made detailed short lessons and I could read uh, and you know listen through it and find out if I was making any errors in it. Oh, yeah. thanks very much. I'm I'm glad they helped. Well, well done. You you you're a great player. You really are and there are always a million things we can improve on. You you will never ever have a, a point where that isn't the case. Uh, there's still a million things I can improve on. Um and that's that's part of the joy of it. So keep on at it. And yeah. yeah, best of luck. I'm sure you'll 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 do very well with your with your grade eight. Let us know how you do. <laughs> and by the time I put the video up, you'll probably done your grade eight. So um, yeah, best of luck to you. Well done. Thank Take you. Take care and, and see you soon in some sort of form. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, Take so. care. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope it was of use to you. This was a free lesson given to a student I've never taught before. And the next free lesson I give could be to you. Uh, watch this video for details on how to apply for your free lesson. You can subscribe to my mailing list too for monthly updates, exercises, studies, um, and occasional discounts on, on private lessons via Zoom. And if you would like regular lessons with me, send me an email, there's a link in the description below. I teach across a variety of time zones from America, Canada, uh, to Great Britain, Europe, India, Australia, New Zealand. So. Uh, get in touch and thank you again.